What's up you guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hey, my name is Amanda. Today we're going to be doing a fall trends video. I feel like it's only right that as a mainly fashion channel that I participate in the fall trends videos. And this is not in any way to tell you that you need to be following all these trends because I certainly don't. This is really just to share with you guys the trends that I see coming that I'm probably gonna be participating in and that I feel are true to my style. So take it with a grain of salt and pull from the things that you love that you feel are true to you. So if you're ready for some fall trends inspiration, then let's just get started. Some of the trends that I'm gonna be talking about today are not necessarily new, but maybe even some continuing in from last year or the year before. And one of those major trends that we are seeing continuing in that we've been seeing for a little while now is sort of that minimal model off-duty kind of look, hence my minimal bun and sleek back hair. So as you can see, this is obviously something that I'm leaning into. I'm really loving just the glossy and minimal and kind of I, I hate to use this phrase, but clean girl aesthetic. I'm not necessarily in that box. I don't ever put myself in a box like that, but I do find things about it that I love. A very minimal hairstyle, clean cut clothing. This one I'm wearing is a pretty structured cropped blazer from Zara. So these are the kinds of things that I really love. And so that's definitely something that I'm going to be bringing more of into my wardrobe this year. It's just a little bit more minimalism because I'm honestly loving it. And I think that brings us into something that I think is way more trending this year. I think it's been happening for a while, but I think that this year it's really being embraced more and that is silver, silver jewelry, silver accessories, just silver. Like, and I never thought that I would be intrigued by something like this because I'm a full on gold everything type of girl. My jewelry is gold. All of the jewelry that I have is gold, but but in doing some online shopping and seeing things like the skin silver bathing suits, a lot of retailers selling chunky silver jewelry and silver bags and shoes and things like that, I really feel myself gravitating towards that. And I think it's really fun. It's something different and out of the box for me, but I feel like it's, it's really inspired me to add a lot of silver into my wardrobe and I never thought that would be the case, but I'm loving it. Now, something that we've seen before, but is sort of changing in my opinion, are cargos. Cargos have been in style for a while now. We have a lot of the 90s fashion influence happening, especially with the low rise trend coming in most recently. I'm noticing that there are a lot of low rise cargos, but they're more of like a baggy fit cargo and not a fitted cargo, even a little towards a parachute style. In my research that I was doing last night, I was noticing there are a lot of retailers selling these oversized kind of loose baggy fit cargos. I think local European did a really good job in kind of really embracing that trend. But I've seen it on places like Zara, I've seen, you know, Mango and, you know, some other places that are doing this oversized sort of loose baggy fit cargo style and I'm loving it. I have a few pieces actually in my cart that I'm going to be doing a haul on, so stay tuned for that. But uh, the 90s style is something that I love. I love everything about 90s style. It doesn't necessarily always agree with my body type, but I think that there are ways that you can make it work for your body type. So if you're not subscribed already, make sure you subscribe so that you can stay tuned for those hauls that are coming up because I'm gonna be including some of those styles into my upcoming hauls. I think that these loose oversized cargos will look great with sneakers and with heels. I think it really is sort of a nod to streetwear also, and I love streetwear, so I'm very excited about this trend, and I'm definitely snatching up all the little cargos that I can get. <laughs> Something else, again, that I think that we've seen before, but I think is going in more of a cropped direction. Not to say that it hasn't been done before, but I think I've been seeing a lot more of this is cropped bomber jackets. Now, I know that retailers are just starting to get into the fall fashion, but I'm already noticing a lot of cropped bomber jackets and I'm very excited about this. I didn't pick up any bomber jackets last year. I know that there were some cropped ones selling last year, and um, if you have a curvy shaped body like me, I think that cropped is really the most flattering way to go because 
If you have wide hips and you're doing an oversized bomber jacket, it can sometimes just make you look bigger than you are. So I find, at least for my body type, that the cropped style anything is my way to go, hence my cropped blazer that I'm wearing today. So I am seeing sneak peeks of these cropped bomber jackets coming out and I will definitely be picking up some of those this year. I think wearing them with a cargo skirt, those kind of oversized baggy cargo pants would be really cute too. They'd be really great over some athleisure wear, leggings, like a matching athleisure wear set. I think that looks really good with some sneakers and some high socks. I love that look. And if you live in a warmer climate like me, I'm in Arizona, I think that we can't get away with too much layering here because we don't get a ton of that cold weather. And when we do, I don't feel like it's really cold enough to be super layered up. So I feel like a bomber jacket is a good way to go. If you're in a warmer climate, you can just throw it over some athleisure wear and head out the door. Another trend that is continuing in that we have seen a lot of are vests. There are a lot of knit vests and things like that around, especially this time of year for fall. Vests have been trending for a couple of years now but um, puffer vest is where it's at for me. And I'm already seeing them coming out on retailers' websites, so I'm very excited that they're back again this year and that they're in style still, because again, cropped for me is the way to go. So it's a good way for me to participate in the vest trend without doing a knit vest, because honestly, it's just not my style. It's just not, it's just not me, so. The puffer vest is the way to go. Something else that is coming in again are rain boots. And I'm excited about this because I really never dove into the rain boot style, but it's grown on me. It's really growing on me and I'm seeing a lot more of them coming out. And I think that this year I'm ready to try it. For me, sometimes if I'm not sure about something, it takes me a long time to like think about and decide if I want to participate in it, especially with trends. So the rain boots have grown on me and I think I'm gonna try it out this year. Something newer that I have noticed are sheer things. I know sheer comes in and out, but I feel like this year it's been a lot bigger, way more of a trend, and it's still continuing into the fall. I've been seeing a lot of sheer, if you shop on Zara a lot, there are a lot of like ribbed sheer tank tops, ribbed sheer long sleeve shirts. I've even noticed some cardigans on their website that have a sheer upper level to the shirt. So sheer is just in everything right now. It's in everything. And I'm definitely gonna be participating that in that I have my eye on several items that fall into this category that I'm gonna be doing in my haul. So I'm very excited to be doing more of the sheer. And I'm really excited too that it's continuing into the fall. Something that is continuing into fall fashion is corsets. We are seeing corset styles in so many different areas other than just a traditional corset. I've been seeing t-shirts with built-in corsets. Um, I've seen dresses with built-in corsets, traditional corsets, lingerie corsets. Corsets are not going anywhere, okay? And I have a few myself. I love a corset under a blazer, like a lingerie corset. Uh, you get a little bit of that sheer lace kind of sexiness with a blazer over the top. But I also think it's really cool that corsets are being combined with t-shirts and button-up shirts and things like that. So I am loving the corset trend. Let's talk a little bit about color. Now, I have to talk about this even though I feel like I don't know if I'm going to gravitate towards this or not but it could grow on me, so I just figured I would share it anyways. And one of the colors that I've noticed is very trending for fall, which is unusual, is that fuchsia pink. I'm seeing this really fuchsia, just intense pink everywhere, in fall knitwear, in so many different things, in dresses, just everything that you could think of. I'm seeing fuchsia everywhere. And when I think of colors like that, I think of summer. So I don't know if I've really wrapped my brain around whether I like it or not. I feel like I focus a lot of my bright, intense colors during the summertime. And when fall comes around, I get to play in the nudes and the neutrals and the greens and the earth tones. So, you know, I may dabble, I don't know yet. But green also is still, still staying strong. Green is still not going anywhere. Um, and it's good because I have a lot of green from last year that I'm gonna be bringing into this year. So I am excited about that. It's still that, I'm seeing forest green still. I'm seeing kind of that Bottega green or Kelly green, whatever you wanna call it. I'm still seeing that green. It's the 
green and pink. And of course, the main staple for fall is layers. Layering is not something new. It's just always a trend for fall, and that's why it belongs in this video. Layering is fall. Fall is layering. So when in doubt for fall, if you're trying to be stylish, layer. I'm seeing a lot of this layering and people tying sweaters over their oversized blazer, kind of like over their shoulders. And that's interesting. I've, I know I've seen it before, but I'm seeing it a lot more this year on Pinterest. I've just been seeing pictures of people tying these sweaters or knitwear sweaters over their oversized blazer on their shoulders. And I don't know, to me it's not really functional, but it's cute. So there's that. I mean, you're it adds interest to your outfit. It is stylish. So. All right, you guys, let me know what you thought about the fall trends video and if I should do one for winter because I have some things in mind for winter. And make sure you're staying tuned. I do have a Zara haul coming up. I will have an H&M haul coming up as well. We're, we're getting into the fall, so we're doing some fall hauls and they will be here soon. So stay tuned for those. And I am also trying to get you guys that Skims shapewear video. There was a little mishap with the ordering on my first order. Everything was too small. And it's like, what's the point of doing a video on shapewear when it's too small? So stay tuned for that and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.